Well, if you're looking to switch to propane, that's all you really got to do sometimes is just put a little adapter in your regular old acetylene regulator. I usually run about between 5 and 6 PSI. And a regular old barbecue can is all you need. And when you run out, you just change out, go grab the one out of your barbecue. It's just, just that easy, you know. And they're cheap. I fill them about 10 bucks a piece. And hell, you could get about seven or eight bottles of oxygen out of one propane bottle. So they last quite, quite a while. The biggest change is in your tip. So you got to see here, we have, there's your scarfing tip. Different from the acetylene where it's recessed a little bit. You see, pretty much the same. You could probably use it. This is a Victor. Standard stuff. Most shops have Victor torch anyways. They're Harris. They come, you know, same price, usually. This, your cutting tip. See, it's two part. You get the veins. Here's your cutting jet. Split setup. You can clean them up. Usually, take file the end off a little bit, both sides. And then take a little countersink and just touch that inside a little bit. I'll bring it back to almost brand new. Same way here, you use tip cleaner on the middle part. File it off just a little bit where it's nice and flat. And then for these, I take either a feeler gauge, spark plug gap, same thing, do that. That gets them about new anyway. Save some money instead of buying a brand new tip. But cheap enough, I can get these. Fastenal has them too. Cheap, they're Blackstone brand, and I think that's what this one is. She's been used quite a bit, but I've been running propane for 10 years. Switched off of acetylene, never looked back. The only thing is firing it up off your torch usually give it a little bit just crack probe in a little bit crack the oxygen just a little bit makes it easier to start for you once you get tuned in to where you need to be you know it's just fine firing it up so you really got to change hardware wise cheap to run and once you figure out that yeah you need a little more preheating and acetylene You'll, you'll love it. And there's less heat input as well to the steel. And you, if you got propane in your house, you can tie it right in. Or if you got natural gas too, I believe these will work on it. Never tried it because I'm far enough away to where I don't have natural gas. So, 20 pounders. going to be contending with having a pierce through your plate but even with the propane sometimes even with the plasma you got to do this but you drill a tiny hole first and start near the middle you'll be able to perform a nice clean cut it ain't worth shit but that's about as good as it gets Maybe a little better some days but it's tough with the hand job well, if you're like me and live in a shit hole covered in snow six months out of the year, no place but your steel, best thing to do is hit that with that sanding pad and clear it right off. You get better cuts that way. Both sides of the steel, too. You know. 
That's how I set my track though. Six inch scale. Always on the money. No, no measuring. Gets you pretty well perfect. 